Konnichiwa, beautiful people. It has been one week since my video announcing that I'm going to climb Mount Fuji. I am no less scared than I was last week. I, I <laughs> Tell me why I'm doing this. Because she wants to accomplish a goal that she thought it was stupid at first. No, I still think it's stupid. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, she made her, her fourth, <laughs> fourth floor goal. Now she's on the fifth. Yes, thank you. beautiful people I'm chef Elisa with Semper Pot Pie and if you are new here I deliver up to 60 meals a week to the active drink service members here in Okinawa from their families back home a little taste of America to keep their spirits up this week we are following up on our intro video that we did last week and we are going to be chronicling our journey of going from couch potato to experience Tiger climbing Mount no, Fuji. Um, you did not even oh. introduce me. This is Minnie. Yes, I did. Wait, when? I said, I'm Shuffle, so this is Minnie Me. Oh. <laughs> Have children, they said. Last week, if you missed it, I made the craziest, craziest announcement that I will be climbing Mount Fuji in only six months. So, a lot has happened since that intro video. I am going to try to make this as organized as possible. The first thing that we are going to discuss is... I'm coming to Mount Fuji with her. That's not the first thing we're going to discuss. Oh. The first thing we're going to discuss is Mount Fuji is only open for a couple of months. Oh. And I did not know that before I moved here. So apparently you can only climb Mount Fuji between the months of July and September. Oh, that actually makes sense. Because of safetyness, like if like the months are going to be like colder, you might freeze to death. It's for safety reasons, probably. Yes. So it is only open from July to September. All right, beautiful people. So I went ahead and shared my screen so you can see this is the official uh, website for Mount Fuji. I did, um, I thought that last time I was able to translate it to English. Apparently I was not. So. I just went right here, the Yoshida Trail safety measures, and when I clicked on that, because it was in English, when I clicked on that, it brought me here. So here is, you know, everything in English, and it's got the Yoshida Trail 2024. You can go ahead and read this. Um, this is saying, um, for 2024, they are planning on introducing a new safety measure, so you cannot go up the mountain at night unless you made a reservation at one of the mountain huts. So, uh, if you plan on going up the, to the top of the mountain during the night, you have to have a reservation at one of the huts. So the restrictions will be in effect from 4 p.m. to 3 a.m. the next day. Restrictions will be imposed when the numbers of climbers exceed 4,000 people per day. Okay, so climbers who pass through the gate at the fifth station will pay a fee of 2,000 yen per person. Previously, it was a voluntary donation of 1,000 yen was implemented for the conservation of Mount Fuji. The maximum fee charged per person will now be 3,000 yen. So, um, this is brand new, it looks like. This is from, the, from February uh, 21st, so this is a brand new thing that they have just come up with. Uh, so that is important to know. So for this one here, see like it has all this great stuff for planning your trip. What should you do? Um, it uh, then Here's another thing I did not know. There's four separate trails and we're gonna be going up the Yoshida Trail. Apparently that is the most common one. It's the easiest to find. You follow the crowd, you're there. Uh, we're not going to be doing these ones over here, so I will not be doing videos on these. Uh, I did know that there was different stations, but this right here is what I want to talk about today, the climbing season. So the climbing season, anywhere from the fifth station up, is when it starts to get restricted. The climbing season is from July 1st to September 10th on the Yoshida Trail, and July 10th through September 10th on all the other trails. 
okay? So I didn't know that when I started this. I did not know that you could only go from July to September. So that kind of puts a kink on things a little bit because you have to do it in that amount of time or you don't get to do it at all. So the other thing to know is there is a, there's a Japanese holiday that's around, I wanna say mid to late August. Let's see, avoid traffic jams, maybe this is here. Um, especially on weekends from early to mid August, ascending trails close to the summit are congested with climbers who go for the sunrise. Okay, so they have a congestion forecast calendar that you can check, which is awesome. Like that is something that is really cool. You can go and you can check. We are, unfortunately, we are restricted to when we can go. So uh, my sister, she's the one that really wants to go. She won't be here for July at all. <laughs> like she just won't be here um so we're going maybe we'll go this 15th to 16th when it's supposed to be normal i'm gonna show this to her and we're gonna figure it out but we need to go sometime in this in this month of August because we also have Minnie Me starting school in here she's not coming back i don't want to say until like the 31st so it's just we need to work around her schedule and our schedule but you can go here to fujisanclimb.gp or jp and you can see this calendar that is a very um, a very good thing see it also has pictographs for the hours and all that good jazz um so this apparently is a picture of how crowded it gets uh so you can kind of see um and you know, this, this has tons of good information that you can know, like, like see, it shows the risks, it shows um, itineraries, the equipment you should have, the etiquette, whether, I mean, this has a lot of stuff, okay? So, this is, this is a great thing to have. One of the things I would like to point out, but we looked this up just last month, and a lot of the huts were already full. Uh, so back here, the planning your trip, itineraries, mountain huts. So we're gonna translate this to English. So here we go. So here is the availability of summer business hours. These are the huts. So this one's at the sixth station, fifth station, seventh station. Um, all these are seventh station, eighth station. Etc. Okay. okay, so this is this is it everywhere today. The stop bullet climbing. Bullet climbing means leaving the fifth station in the evening and climbing up overnight without staying at a mountain hut. This increases the risk of accidents and altitude sickness because of exhaustion. In recent years, bullet climbers have become a problem. Bullet climbers make a lot of noise and leave a lot of trash. Currently, the local government has announced that this dangerous form of climbing should be stopped. If you'd like to climb Mount Fuji without staying in a mountain hut, we recommend climbing up from the early morning. Please make a safe climbing plan. Okay, so we are absolutely 100% staying at a hut. We are not doing anything unsafe. We are not risking altitude sickness. We are not risking falling down in the middle of the night. Okay, so this one says that this one will start towards the end of March. Follow them on Instagram or Facebook um, for the exact date. So I'm going to go ahead and follow them on both. Okay, so this is, there's other side, the huts are super simple. They're going to have mats on the floor. You're basically just going to sleep. And this one right here says that huts, Mount Fuji, do not provide a heated dry room for drying out wet gear. So make sure you have extra gear. So you can see here, these are um, the sleeping area here, as you can see. This is not a fancy hotel. This is, you're going to be sleeping on the ground or in the bunk beds so that you can get some sleep before you go up. So 
bring ear plugs. <laughs> so, um, they do have Western style toilets, which is, is something, so that's great. Um, but as you can see, this is the kind of pictures of the little hut, the food. This one has Japanese curry rice, green tea, vegetarian curry. Mm. Okay, so this one doesn't have ramen. I might find a different one that has ramen at it. My point with this is make sure you go to fujisanclimb.jp. It has everything you could possibly want for planning your trip before, while, um, any news it has, and it'll have all the important news here. So this is a fantastic website. I will link that below. Uh, and we will be exploring this together um, through the coming weeks. All right, we are back uh, from sharing our screen. And so I wanted to kind of give you a little recap of how the week has gone. Minnie me, how has my been going up the stairs been going? Uh, so. <laughs> I'm very interested to hear. The goals of mom's up. So first, she made it to fourth floor without any breath. She was running out of oxygen. But then she took the elevator and that made her feel better down. I, I took it down, yes. yes. But then she finally made it all the way to four, five. Okay, we're not, that, that's this week's, not last week's. We're talking about last week. Oh, oh. She's getting ahead of us. What Minnie Me is talking about is I made some goals for the last week and I wanted to go over how those goals went. We are very, anti-diet and very anti-eating disorder and um, very anti-exercise addiction. To get very personal in TMI for a moment, I had eating disorders for most of my life and I was very addicted to exercise. Do you remember when I used to like, I could not skip a single day at the gym? Yeah. Do you remember that? Do you remember how I used to take a scale to the dinner table and weigh out every single thing I ate? No. Good, I'm glad you don't remember that. So, uh, it took many, many years and a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of therapy to get over that and I have not really exercised since then. So, that is why I'm very excited that this exercise and my training is exactly that. I am training to climb Mount Fuji. I am not attempting to change my body. I will not be taking before pictures. I will not be taking after pictures. I will probably take a before and after video of how out of breath I was. You can check the intro video. I could barely breathe and all I did was go up three flights of stairs. So I will definitely be taking before and after video of my endurance building up over the next six months, okay? But I will not be doing like measuring waistline any of that we are not about that here i do not apologize for that uh if you do not agree with that if you do not like that then this may not be the channel for you and that is okay we can all let's all go get some ice cream and we'll be good okay so that is my disclaimer that i am throwing out there my two goals two four two goals for or for last week were number one eat breakfast so I have a very bad habit, as does many me, very bad habit of skipping breakfast and often skipping lunch, okay? Okay, I don't I, skip lunch on work days or school days. On week, school days, yeah, but I get, I basically, I have my coffee in the morning, I start work almost the second I wake up, I keep working almost until the second I go to bed, and then I often forget to um, skip breakfast and I often forget to have lunch. So my first goal this week this last week was to eat breakfast. If I am going to be able to climb Mount Fuji, I need to fuel my body. I took some video of the breakfast that I did and I will splice them in here. Editing okay. powers. <laughs> Editing powers. So uh, I didn't like no plan of what to have for breakfast. I just, my plan was eat something for breakfast. So some days I had yogurt with granola and fresh fruit. Some days I had half a bagel and a soft boiled egg. Some days I had oatmeal. Um, just oh, some days I had a melon pan. That's what I had this did morning. You ate breakfast today. I did. I had a melon pan. I love melon pan. You can find them at any Lawson's. Um, they are amazing. Uh, they are the Japanese version of koncha. By the way, don't 
Don't mess the pineapple buns with melon pants. Yes, pineapple buns are the Chinese version. I miss um, them all. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, that was my first goal and I did great. I did not skip breakfast, not one single day. Um, I basically just wanted to eat breakfast uh, four out of the seven days. So, did great, right? What? Here's me. Yes. Uh, my goals? no my second goal was to I always climb the stairs from the lobby to the second floor what I wanted to do is I wanted to climb for my baseline I climbed up the stairs until I felt like I wanted to quit and I wanted to die and then I did one more floor <laughs> that was my baseline so my baseline started at the fourth floor right that was my very next one I definitely you can go back and check the intro video I felt like I was going to die it was not fun my goal for that was at least half the time go all the way to the fourth floor, okay? I surpassed that. I think there was only one day, I wanna say it was on Sunday. I was just tired. I didn't wanna go up to the fourth floor. I said, forget it. So I only went up to the second floor um, and I wanna say that I did that once today, but I left and came back several times today. So um, I did go all the way up to the fifth floor. Uh, that's this next week's goal. I am adding on to the fifth floor. So first week's goals, amazing. Eat breakfast at least four days out of the week. I did seven. Go up to the fourth floor at least half the time, I wanna say. I probably did it about 90, 95% of the time. So perfect there, right? So next week's goals for eating and for training, I want to, I'm gonna add another floor. So we're gonna go up to the fifth floor. I'm going to add in lunch. So breakfast and lunch, not just breakfast. And then I'm going to add one more. I'm, I'm gonna try not to do too many at once. I am gonna add just one more goal. I want to do start doing a core workout. It's gonna to have to start super gentle because I have had three surgeries on my abdomen uh, since I stopped exercising. Um, two, two surgeries on my abdomen since I stopped exercising. So I am going to start with a super simple post C-section workout. And I just want my just want to do it one time between this video and the next video. So I feel like that is super simple. Shouldn't be too much. So those are my goals for next week. Okay. Now on to fun stuff. I got some fun stuff. Yay, fun stuff! I love fun stuff. Now, I after my intro video where I was like, "This is stupid. I'm gonna die." Blah blah blah. I found this shirt. Thank you, iPhones, for listening to everything that we say and do. Uh, I can't do this. And then slide, then cross out, if I die, I die. If I die, I die. <laughs> so this is my new, this is going to be my new uh, workout shirt. Or when I finally get to the gym, I'm going to build up to that. Um, this is what I'm going to be wearing when I'm there. So that's our first fun thing. So there's that. And then, Mini Me, now is your time to shine while I open up these boxes. So my goal is I hope I will, I hope I do good in PE tomorrow. I'm going to do the sixth floor. I always been doing the sixth floor. That is right. So Mini Me goes up to the fourth floor with me and then she zooms up to the sixth floor. Do you take the elevator down or do you take the stairs? Uh, I mostly take the elevator now, but I used to use the stairs. And what else? Anything else? I remember in Harry, we climbed all those stairs and I said I wanted to go down. So there was uh, the, the big church. I can't remember what it's called, but the big, big church with all the stairs. And I was telling Minnie Me, but this was a year ago last Christmas. Um, and I was telling her we can take the tram up. It's like a euro to go take a little tram up and then One we can walk euro. down. And oh no, she wanted to walk all the stairs. And then she thought that we were gonna take the tram down. I was like, no, 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 no. Down is the easy way to go. Now you understand me, cause you always take the elevator down now. That's because I'm literally dying and I can't breathe. That's what I thought when I was up all the way there. It was rainy, I didn't want to go down. It felt steep. Okay, on to our fun haul from Amazon. So the first thing that we went ahead and ordered were wool socks. Did it without scissors. So 
I got some wool socks. I will double check. Uh, I think I got women's, large, men's, mediums. I have fairly wide feet, and especially since we have been here in Japan, I have been using the toe separator house slippers. With every pregnancy, my feet have gotten wider, so if you are like me and you have big wide feet, you are definitely gonna wanna follow along because that is what I'm going to be buying. So these ones I got, uh, my husband should be able to wear them as well, right? Yeah. So I, I got kind of neutral colors so that he and I could share this pack. So I am gonna try this on real quick. Oh my goodness. A day of life of, a day a a day in a life okay. of mom. Okay, so they are nice and comfy. Do they feel warm? <laughs> Look at, I'm like <laughs> They are nice and comfy. They feel warm. very warm, they feel very soft. The reason I got them slightly bigger, I did not want to get them too small, is because I didn't want them to be pulling on my toes. You know how that happens sometimes with the socks? And I definitely didn't want my my toes to be hurting during this climb. And also your socks, you might have to grow your feet a little bit, so the small might become like uh, Yeah, because your feet will, like, if it's anything like running, your feet might swell. I did order... Dude. Three pairs of hiking boots. Is this, who is this for? These ones are for me to try. I ordered the, this only, these are the first ones that came in. They are waterproof. They're men's. They're Timberland. So the Timberland should be, um, usually I feel is a pretty good brand. I want to say I got a men's wide. Nine wide in men's. So that is my first trick if you have uh, wide feet like I do, get mints. They they do they tend to be wider and they tend to be a little more forgiving than women's. Women's shoes can be very narrow, and I was looking for wide hiking boots for women, and I was having a hard time finding them. So I ordered these, and I ordered another one because I wanted to see. Uh, my my biggest concern is that they're gonna to be too heavy. So this is the boot. It's nice and wide through here. It's not too tight here. I can wiggle my toes. I'm not worried about any of this going numb from pinching. This is nice and cushioned here the, for, for here. I could definitely make those tighter. I just did it nice and loose to get it going so I could take this video. Um, and as you can see, they are not the prettiest. Because remember, they are men's, but they are waterproof, which is very important. So, or these are definitely in the running. We will see how they go. So, let's get these on. Ooh, those are definitely in the running. They're they're super comfy, but I have one more pair coming. They're not the lightest, but they're not too heavy either. They're not as heavy as they look. So these are definitely a uh very definitely maybe these wool socks though these wool socks are amazing these are really awesome and actually i foresee me using these for many many years after this using them just when my feet are cold so that is awesome so like i said i have another pair of shoes coming in i'm going to try those before i make a final decision and i will return which ones we decide not to use i went ahead and i ordered mini me some hiking boots as well and yeah. some wool socks as well and so once those come in we will do a unboxing of those I since know. since it's not just me that was doing climbing mount fuji it is also um i'm doing it with a child so I think that's it for this week. So quick, quick recap. Mount Fuji is only open from July to September with August being the busiest month because of a national holiday. Two, my goals for last week were to take this, the three flights of stairs and to add in breakfast. Uh, take the three flights of stairs at least 50% of the time and to eat breakfast at least four days out of the seven days. I surpassed both of those, so yay. My next week goal is to add in lunch at least four out of the seven days and to go to the fifth floor instead of the fourth floor. And one last very quick one is to get at least one core workout in 
uh, very gentle, easy beginning core workout in before our next video. Okay, so Minnie Me is also going to be trying to add in breakfast and she is going to be going to the sixth floor, correct? Okay, uh, stay tuned for next week's video. My mom is flying in. She should actually uh, be leaving Tokyo right about now. So uh, on her way here, and we are going to try to get at least one hike in with her. Uh, not too difficult of a hike, but a hike nonetheless. So we should have video of the hike. We should have a little bit more, a little bit more for our video next week, okay? <laughs> Uh, thank you guys so much for listening to us ramble and watching Mini Me's <laughs> I, weird shenanigans on the side. Oh <laughs> well. Yes, oh well. We we love her and her shaking the camera the whole video. But um, thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye.